I saw this new Kokato, new video is just depressing. Wonders why I'm posting less. I'm not happy. I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've become. Uh -huh. I don't like what I look like. Nikocado's recent video is so incredibly tragic, it makes all of his previous breakdowns seem like they were happy moments. I mean, you have to constantly eat junk food for content. I mean, this is not a good look. Simply titled by Nikocado talks about deeply regretting his time on YouTube, in the process admitting to financial ruin and the ways in which fame destroyed his life completely. The 41 minute video yeah, the hair one. begins on terrible footing, as after only 20 four seconds nick's already almost on the verge of tears just gonna tell you right off the bat i'm on the edge of a breakdown most likely by the end of this video i'm gonna be flipping out <sighs> The reason for this is quickly revealed. Nick had begun to realize YouTube was actually a terrible choice. My life was going great. So I decided to do this YouTube life. And I'm sitting here thinking I have thrown away the best years of my life. Admitting he never would have started if given a second chance. I wish I could turn back the clock. I wish I could go back in time. I wish I would never have done YouTube. I wish I would have never decided that this would be a fun way to make a living. That this would be a fun way to have a life. This would be a fun way uh, to provide for my family. He further hints as to why. My job is to face people who hate me, who don't care for me, that don't they aren't even interested in me. They're here for someone fat. Yet he's interrupted by his pizza delivery. I mean, it's kind of obvious. They just want to see people it. Yeah, leading to the video's only moment where Nick isn't totally miserable. However, the second he takes a bite, you can see Nick Accardo's dark realization that he despises his life completely. I don't like this! I don't like this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to eat food. Nick hating his job isn't unexpected, but his claim about money is a little more surprising. The irony is I barely made any money for the past two, three years. I mean, she probably upload more content. Across Nick Accardo's five biggest channels, of course, there would lead to more done 1.85 billion views total, which by applying a conservative ad rate of $3 per thousand views, means he's made 5.5 million from YouTube ads alone. He also charges $500 per cameo and has over a thousand reviews, meaning if you yes, yes, not making money. include maybe another thousand people who didn't review, he's also likely made over a million dollars from this. Then Nick also has a Patreon and his iconic line of merch, which when compared combined with everything else could mean total career earnings of almost 10 million. So how could it be possible he didn't make much money? Well, Nick Accardo would elaborate. I hate that my job is showing up here and hoping I get paid from it because the YouTube gods strike me down three years ago and it's never improved. Nick seemed to imply his videos were really what? monetized, which has been happening for over three years. We tested this by watching his content on a fresh new account and found that most videos on more Nick Accardo don't even play one single ad. On the contrary, most of his third channel videos have ads Wait, so why is that again? but his earnings didn't matter anyway because any money he did make has now been fully wasted. It wasn't even yeah, worth it. I barely made any money and the money I did make, I lost to the extent that Nick Accardo is now struggling to survive. I hate my finances. I hate my husband. I hate my family. I hate my friends. I hate my work. I hate this country. I hate this place. It's a pain so much just to survive. As a result, he begins to consider even moving to a different country. I'm literally about to move to Indonesia. I have a friend there right now. And do you know how much she paid for her dinner? Two dollars. And 24 cents. Which Nick has actually done before, having spent three years living in South America. He acknowledges the easy I probably just score them. The solution would have simply been to make there won't be any luxury either. a different type of content. And I knew if I would have done something more age appropriate or more whatever friendly. What was this all for? I don't even like this. Or more tragically, stick with his previous love of playing violin. I felt like I had purpose to create. 
beautiful music to inspire and didn't he just buy a house i mean that's a good as hell people to give people hope when they're going through horrible shit. it seems nikocado's mukbangs have destroyed his previous talent i used to play the violin and my fingers got too fat they get stuck in the strings they go bonk and then I can't play anymore. Missing violin as an art form that actually impacted people's lives. All it takes is one person to come to a concert or a show and you change their life because you inspire them to do something similar or go into the arts or something. And I'm sitting here eating food. In Oompaville's It's Your Fault, Nick Accardo further added, I was very good. I got a full ride scholarship to my school. Could you, could you Juilliard shred? school? Have you known about it? I went to the Juilliard for two years. I don't know what that is. With Juilliard being the world's most prestigious music school. A user on Reddit found Nick's full list of violin achievements, of which there were certainly many, and it therefore makes sense that he was good enough to teach. Have you ever had a job? Yeah, many. Violin lessons. I used to play at weddings. A YouTuber named Violin Mechanic also watched all of Nick's violin videos, concluding he was near professional. Right from the bat, I can tell that this guy plays fantastically in tune. And it seemed this respect from other people was what Nick missed more than anything else. When I would finish my shows, I would sign autographs. People would wait in a line to take photos of me, which I think some people would now, but it's for a different different reason. It's not because I just inspired them. It's because I am a fat funny meme. By playing on the street, Nick attracted massive crowds, but as he sits there thinking for over 20 seconds, he realizes what he truly this misses is the respect he had for himself. And I had a sense of pride, a sense of honor, a sense of happiness. I felt closer to God actually. In comparison to his music, he's lost all motivation to mukbang. I felt like I was doing something that I was called to do. I don't feel that with these videos. Which can definitely be felt throughout the entire video. I can't even fake sit here and fake this for you. I'm not going to. He tries to talk about the food but clearly doesn't care. Let's try these breadsticks. Hmm, it's fine. As Nick's instead preoccupied with the thought of him retiring. And if I just quit YouTube, who's gonna care? A hundred, couple hundred people, okay. I can't watch Nick Akato slurp noodles and eat takis. Oh, my life's not the same. I used to watch Nick Akato eat taki. It's a topic he's been considering throughout the previous year. So why doesn't he quit and do something yeah, he he just else completely? Quit. Well, he addresses this also. I can't even get a normal job. Yeah, nothing no matter what I can even get a job. I want to apply doing some type of management because I'm so known or there's so many horrible things I've put myself into situations. It's like, it's going to create a polarizing environment. You know how many people hate me? They don't want to work with me. It's like, great. So now I've really you probably go to another country then. And then, Sadly, what? Nick is probably right. If he was spotted working retail, it'd be a story instantly. But there are still other YouTube ideas that could also be successful. A YouTuber named Usgang went unexpectedly viral when he began a series titled Try to Lose Weight in 100 Weeks. Well, Nick showed in his recent video that he was already I mean, that takes a lot of work though. Come on, losing weight. I recently lost 89 pounds, but I'm still morbidly obese. I can't even fit in a chair. Which has been proven as an element the audience likes to follow. Combine this with Nick Accardo's notoriety and you've got a mega viral series that could fix his channel health and declining self-esteem. I'm so ugly. I don't want to be ugly. Whilst giving him respect from every single viewer. Imagine if he disappeared off of YouTube for a year or two, lost all the weight and built muscle, became an absolute chad and returned to YouTube as a what is this hypothetical they're imagining but violin YouTuber. I don't think any normal people can do that. The respect he'd Visiting. receive would be insane. The only problem is Nick's completely terrified of trying something new. The worst part is I have an escape route and I'm so afraid to take it. At this point, however, is there even another alternative? I'm halfway through life. I don't want to spend the next half being like this. Even Nick himself admitted he can't keep doing mukbangs. You can't keep betting on the dying horse. You just can't. And in my stupid mind, it's like, it will change, it'll get better. Oh, if I pump out more content, it just... I'm not liked. I'm just not liked. And that's that's the that's the fact. And it hurts. And I doubt Nick's as disliked as he clearly thinks. There are loads of different people who appreciate the meme, while his series he made with Umperville helped restore his reputation. The honesty in his recent video also makes him much more likable, especially in the segments where he takes responsibility. But it's nothing to do with you, really. 
It's everything to do with me. Still, Nikikaru is convinced that everybody hates him. And I'm here filming for people who hate me. Wow, my life is so cool. Making the video's main point all the more obvious. He desperately needs to try something new. It's like a dead relationship. You're clinging to something dead. Stop living in the past. Mm, that's true.